Welcome back year seven. I hope you're doing really well and welcome to lesson, lesson two on physics for speed. Now today is going to be very similar to lesson one. We're going to look at the four key principles of learning, which is start with some retrieval practice, looking at old stuff and last lesson. I'm then going to teach you some new things. We're going to embed it, make sure you understand it. And then finally, we're going to practice it and make sure you walk away from a lesson knowing how distance time graphs work. Unlike last lesson though, if you can't print off the sheets, don't worry about it because they'll be on this video. You can pause the video and work from the video instead. Save some printing if you can't. So first of all, I'm gonna pause the video. You need, to get, you need to get ready. Okay, do it now for me. So slide one of retrieval, a particle model. What can you remember about the states, changes of state? So one to six, off you go. So how'd you get on? Check your answers. If you really found that hard, take a moment now just to revise, make a card, make sure you understand it. So slide two, separated mixtures. Pause the video, off you go. So again, check your answers. How'd you get on? If you find it really hard, make some different revision on them. And a final slide is on this video is what last now hopefully is we've right in your memory. I taught this really well. I know you really got it. So pause the video, off you go. So, how would you get on? Check your answers. If you smashed it, well done. If not, remember, revise. It takes a moment now just to make sure you understand it. So, the last lesson I gave you a slot task as a practice. You had eight questions. Here are the answers to the eight questions. Check them off now. How would you get on? If you did really well, congrats. Love that. If you didn't, don't forget you can message me and show my homework. I can help you any questions you need with. So, We'll now get stuck into the new stuff and you need to now get the new sheet for me or if you haven't got the sheet, just grab a piece of lined paper and we will um, we will now have a go at it together. So here it is. This is your slot sheet. Come up now. And it starts with looking at grade. Now the gradient, okay, it's really important to say that. Actually, if we can do this today, I will be chuffed. Now a distance time graph is just a way of showing a journey. So whenever we talk again on journey, we can actually visualize this with a graph. So I'm going to start looking at the gradient and then we'll come into what the lines mean. So when I talk about the gradient of a line, this is talking about how steep a line is. So whenever you mention the word gradient, it means how steep a line is. And with this is time graph is very important. Now question two, it says, which of these lines is the biggest gradient? Now, if we look at the options we've got here, Okay, G, B, N, and Y, we're looking at steepness, and the steepest line is G. So G has the highest gradient. Now, in a distance time graph, you can hopefully see you've got distance on your Y axis and time along your X axis. That's really important to remember. So it's now this is the important bit. It says, how do you calculate the gradient of a line? And the gradient. is always going to be equal to the change in the y-axis. Now, in this video, okay, it's distance, so change in distance. And the x-axis, so to divide it by the change in the x-axis. So all you're doing is you're going to divide the distance by the time. So therefore, gradient, this is over time, that tells us speed. So if you calculate the gradient of a line, that will give you the speed. And that is really, really important. So question five, now this is a typical distance time graph. And what you have to do is describe this person's journey. So you've got different shapes here and we need to understand what they all mean. So first of all, we've got this here between here and here, the diagonal line. Now, if you ever see a diagonal line, that means they are moving at a constant speed. So write this in with me, guys. So for the first 20 seconds, they have been at a constant speed. Now, at this point here, it's flattened. The time is still going, but the distance isn't changing. So if the distance isn't changing, that tells us they are stopped or they are stationary. They are not moving. Next bit, we've got number three, and this is a steeper diagonal line. So we go from suddenly from 40, really steep, up to 
this bit here, which again is 40, right at the top. So actually, this time, they're still moving at a constant speed, but this time they're moving at a faster constant speed. And then finally, we've got this shape here. Now it starts up here and goes back to zero. So their distance has gone from 40 to zero. So what they're doing is they're going back to the start. So they are still moving at a constant speed, but they're going back to the start. So if we look now, if we imagine this journey was like, it's a story, and this person's here, they've gone for a slow walk, they stopped, had a chat with someone, they then realize they're late, they quickly walk to the destination, they've got what they needed, and then they've gone back home. So again, that is the journey we need to be able to understand. So at this point here, you can pause the video, question one to five, have a go at self-testing, embedding it, new knowledge, Make sure you remember the knowledge and in a minute we're going to apply it. So pause the video now if you need to. So the final bit I'm going to teach you today is on this question here, question six, question seven, which look like this. And we've been given a graph, okay? And it wants us to calculate the speed between zero and 20 seconds. Now we know that speed is equal to gradient of a line on a distance time graph. So gradient, Remember, is equal to the change in y-axis divided by the change in your x-axis. So let's do this together. So it's between zero and 20 seconds. So between zero and 20 seconds, they've gone from zero up to 10. So the change in y is from here to 10. So it's 10. So we know the top of this will be 10. The change in x axis, now this is the bottom, the bottom. So it starts at zero and it goes to 20. So the chain is from zero to 20. So that will be 20. That means that the gradient is 10 divided by 20. So the speed, well, the gradient will be 0 0.5. And because we know it's speed, it's meters per second. Let's do one more together, okay? And you can practice these. So it's a calculated speed between 60 and 100. Now, we now know that gradient is equal to change in y divided by the change in x. We go to our graph then. So we're looking between 60 and 100. So 60 is here, 100 is here. Now it starts, so y starts at 40, but it goes all the way down to zero. So the change in y is 40. So I'm going to put, I'm going to write down here, so my change in y is 40. And a change in x. Now, if we look, it starts at 60 and it goes to 100. So we're looking for the difference between 60 and 100. So 100, do they take away 60, is 40. So therefore, we can see the change in x is 40. That means 40 divided by 40 gives us 1. And because the gradient tells us the speed, that is 1 meter per second. So there you had two calculations. Now, if you're really, that's quite a lot of there. If you'll start, watch it again. It's a beauty of watching video. You can do it again and again and again. And then when you're ready, you can start on the slot questions. Now, they look like this. You've got three pieces of paper, one, two, and three. If you've got a paper, you can work on those. If you haven't, I'll now show you the video. I'll show you on the video. So, again, just here. Slide one was like this. So here's your first set of stop questions. So you can give these a go. Slide two is this. Give these a go. And slot three is these. Give these a go. So I'll go through them again. One, two, and three. 
If you give these a go, next lesson, I'll go through all the answers. And in the meantime, okay, I'll, and in the meantime, make sure you do some material practice, complete the slop, share the video with our year group. Remember, there will be weekly recall tests. There will be one very soon on sharing my homework. And I'll see you next time. All the best.